What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Eric and I'm a first year Canadian medical school student. Today I'm really excited to be unboxing the Keychron K2, a sleek, compact, wireless mechanical keyboard. This is actually a birthday present my girlfriend got me for my 22nd birthday and since I've been online for most of my classes, I am beyond excited to start testing this out and trying it every single day. So without further ado, let's open it up. Oh, I like that tight fit of the box when you're opening it. It just feels really nice. And upon opening it, there's an instruction guide with uh, some keys that you might want to replace depending on whether you're using Windows or Mac. A uh, little foam protective cushion. And here it is, the actual keyboard, the Keychron K2 in a little plastic bag. Let's take it out. I've heard a lot of good things about this keyboard, uh, but my girlfriend has been telling me that she did a lot of research to find the best one uh, for me, which I appreciate a lot. And here it is, there's a little plastic cover on it, so let's take that off first. And here's what it looks like, wow. Before, before we dive into that, and I'm really dying to give it a try, uh, let's see what else is in the box. There's a little instruction manual. And under the box, there's a USB-C, USB-A converter to probably charge the keyboard. There's the extra keys I was talking about that you might want to replace. And there's a tool to help you take the keys out of the keyboard. So now let's focus on the main attraction, the Keychron K2. So a lot of the mechanical keyboard's appeal is actually the touch as well as the sound when you click the keyboard. Let me show you what I mean by that. Hear that? It sounds even better in person. Unfortunately, I can't really show you how it feels to type on this keyboard, but I can assure you that it feels amazing. Now, one of the really big benefits of this keyboard specifically is that it has no wires. It connects to your computer completely via Bluetooth, which is great because all of the mechanical keyboards I've used previously were really big and bulky. And actually the last one I had, the Corsair K70, took up two USB-A slots. Now, I'm really excited to go test this bad boy out, so I'll be back shortly with a review on the Keychron K2. So I've been using the Keychron K2 for the past week, and I'm still amazed at how amazing a typing experience it delivers, all while being so compact and completely wireless. And of course, rest assured that it is still Windows as well as Mac compatible, so no matter what kind of user you are, you can still enjoy this keyboard. So on that note, I'll talk about how you can switch from Mac to PC and make this keyboard really friendly for whatever needs you have. It's as simple as just going to the left side and switching it from PC to Mac. And I actually found that that does make a difference on your option and command key or Windows key and Alt key, and actually flips those around between Mac and Windows. So make sure to have the right orientation if you do decide to pick this keyboard up. Additionally, you also have the option to switch between using the cable and using the wireless Bluetooth function. And personally, I prefer to keep the wires away from my computer just to keep my workspace as tidy as possible. But if you are preferring the cable connection, you always have that option. Of course, the cable will eliminate some of the lag time that you might get from a wireless connection, and it will serve to charge your keyboard as you're using it. But personally, I just prefer having no wires at all. Now, on that note, in terms of battery life, I haven't used the keyboard just enough to fully experience what the battery life is like, but in the past week, I spent almost every waking hour on my computer, and so far this keyboard has not failed me once. From other reviews I've read about this keyboard, I've seen that the average battery life you can expect is two to three weeks. But the good thing is that it has a built-in battery saving feature where it'll automatically turn off after 10 minutes of inactivity. And then when you go back to use it, all you need is to press a button, wait for a few moments, and then it'll turn right back on and be ready to use instantly. So what I really like about the wireless connection is that you can actually connect up to three devices to this keyboard. So you can seamlessly switch between your devices for any of your typing needs. So let's say I had a MacBook, an iPad, as well as an iPhone. I could switch to any one of them and start typing right away. And it's easy as just holding the function key and pressing one, two, and three to switch between my different devices. Now the next thing I wanna talk about is the incline on this keyboard. Now as students who have probably spent the vast majority of their school time online, I'm sure a lot of us have appreciated the growing importance of a comfortable chair, a nice monitor setup. And the same is true for a comfortable keyboard that can make sure your wrists won't be damaged. 
Now, by providing a little bit of an incline, it makes the typing experience just a little bit easier to reach and all the more comfortable for all your typing needs. Additionally, my girlfriend just gifted me this wrist rest so you can comfortably put your wrists on it and it feels like a little pillow for your wrists. So definitely a great buy as well. Now, one of the more aesthetic features of this keyboard I want to highlight are the different RGB commands that you can cycle through. Now, this is something that's purely for show, but if you're into RGB lights, this keyboard comes with 15 built-in RGB functions that you can cycle through just by pressing the light bulb at the top right. You can also switch colors on each of the RGB functions by holding function and pressing left and right to go back and forth. And if you're tired of RGB altogether, you can hold function and press the light bulb to completely stop it. But of course, you can turn it back on anytime. So the last thing I want to mention with the mechanical keyboard is the type of keys you can get. Yes, there are different types of keys. So for this keyboard, there are blue, brown, and red switches. The difference being primarily the sound that they make. So the blue switches are really loud and clicky, where the red switches are a little bit more muted. Personally, I like to opt for the brown switches. I like being somewhere in between where it still delivers that sound that I like, but not being too loud that if I bring this out in public that it might be disruptive. So that's my review of the Keychron K2. I know I'm gonna be using it a whole lot as a lot of my schooling is now online. In the past week, I've already typed probably at least two novels worth on this keyboard. So thank you for joining me today and that's been your daily dose of Medi Sun and I'll see you in the next video.